Hey everyone, it's Laura. Thank you so much for checking out the Backyard Series today. I am so excited because we are going to go visit our neighborhood artist, Nanda Thompson. Now, instead of going to Nanda's studio space, we are going to meet her at a restaurant in Tulsa, Oklahoma called The Wild Fork. The reason we're meeting Nanda at The Wild Fork is because her artwork is on display there. So, let's go see Nanda. Thompson, Nanda short for Fernanda. As an artist, I sign F. Thompson. This is the Backyard series. Um, my art is uh, focused uh, mostly on uh, mother's things, uh, tropicals, uh, uh, cityscapes, and uh, abstracts. These are my favorite things to work on. My art has a lot to do with uh, my feelings, and uh, I, my art is very intuitive. So the tropicals that I paint, they are related to where I come from. I come from Brazil, and uh, when I paint tropical themes, I'm, I'm longing for something from my childhood or when I was in Brazil. And then when I paint uh, Tulsa, which is uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, themes, is, uh, I paint a lot of Tulsa cityscapes. I feel it, it shows that I'm feeling comfortable here in Tulsa. I feel like Tulsa is home to me. Um, I also paint uh, mothers, the mother's things. And the mother's things is something that goes uh, it's deeper, it's, uh, it has a lot to do to my uh, uh, personal situation where I, I discovered I was adopted. But I think the, the mother's piece started uh, as my subconscious trying to tell me something. Uh, I started painting the mother's piece in 2006 and uh, I, just, I only discovered I was adopted in 2000, the end of 2011. So um, that was very something very interesting. It was something very interesting because uh, I felt that the need to paint those mothers, and uh, and I paint them till today, but the, the, with a more understanding of, of what I'm doing, and uh, more it's a more it's more comforting than before. And the abstracts, my abstract pieces, I, I think it's my subconscious or my the feeling that I have at the moment. I'm trying to I'm trying to express with my abstract art uh, during the time that I was dealing with uh, uh, when I first discovered I was adopted. My abstract pieces they they had uh, they show separation, they show uh, division. And uh, the new ones, they don't show so much of that. How I discovered I was an artist. Um, when I was a child, uh, I started painting, drawing and painting, and my father noticed and, uh, my interest, and he decided to get me a private art teacher. And uh, through, uh, I used to go to her house, and uh, she would teach me uh, she started teaching me oils, uh, drawing perspectives, all that. Finally, as, a, as I got to high school, I had a very strict art teacher. I'd go to his classes after school in the afternoon. And uh, he was an old man, very cranky. But I learned so much from him. I loved him because he was an amazing artist and he was interested in teaching and passing that on to us. And uh, uh, his, his, uh, he used to paint uh, and draw uh, uh, 
portraits. That was his thing, and uh, back then, that was my thing. I love portraits. That's what I would focus on. And I had another amazing teacher, Miss Daly, and she noticed my interest in art, and uh, she would take me to uh, Tulsa State Fair to. Uh, work on some projects with her. Uh, we, the first time I made a, a large mural was with her. And uh, I, that raised my interest in painting in larger canvases than like this one. <laughs> I have uh, always restrict myself to smaller canvas and then I discover larger canvas are so much fun. After I decided to become a professional artist, larger canvases uh, became very uh, convenient and popular as well. People sometimes they prefer larger canvases to decorate their homes and to add to their walls. So it works for me. I also add a lot of texture to my work, and that's uh, part of uh, wanting to always do something different. My cityscapes, they have the, the geometrical uh, background, but uh, I try to make the building as it is, but I add the geometrical background to change that from that, uh, uh, so it won't look like a photo. I wanted to, to add an artistic, uh, creative touch to uh, the cityscapes. And so I added a geometrical background and I also, every one of my cityscapes have one 3D element. So whether it's a water fountain, like the, the, the Philbrook Museum, I, the, the water fountain is 3D. The, the uh, Circle Cinema, the the sign is 3D, so every one of my uh, cityscapes have a 3D element. Why Oklahoma? Uh, I was an exchange student here in 1983-84, and since then I kept, kept coming back. It was a great experience, and I kept coming back, and uh, it was very different from the place I came from, and I think that attracted me, that the difference and, and, and culture and uh, environment. I, I came from a city that there was uh, uh, there were two million people there, and uh, then I moved to Tulsa. And then uh, in in Brazil there was an ocean right in front of where I live. Here is country. I like that different experience and something new and different. Um, at the same time, um, I met. Uh, that's where I met my husband. I met him in high school, and ten years later we got married, and that kept me here. So, uh, message to students: um, Let your art flow. Let your creativity flow. In art, there's no limit. There is no right and wrong. There's just what you feel and what you want to express. And uh, there are no mistakes. Just uh, learn, grow, and express yourselves.